afternoon cactus people today we're taking a look at the Austro Cylindropuntia subulata also known as the Eves needle or Eves pin which is a lot easier to say uh, this is um, a cutting that I put in last year in fact we uh, built the entire bed just to put this cutting in to see the, the uh, Cylindropuntia bed uh, this was um, a piece I was given by a friend some friends that uh, I didn't think this bit would take. It's, um, it's quite a woody section and I'd rooted the other parts that uh, I was given and I thought this would die so I left it on the shed uh, thinking it would just turn into a skeleton. So um, after a few weeks of being up on the shed in the sunshine with no water or soil it started to turn its head up and started to grow sprout so hence the reason for building this entire bed just to um, house this one cutting uh, but it's a lovely bed now so I mustn't complain uh, but as Alan pointed out earlier it's a, a nice plant but he's turning into a bit of a one-man forest or one cactus forest so today we're going to be taking a few um, branches off for uh, cuttings uh, might as well root them up it's um, quite easy to root and just thought I'd show you my way of doing that so, uh, uh, just before we start, have a look at this one here. Uh, this is um, one you may have seen already. It's um, a frosted cutting from um, last year. He's rooted very well, but um, the frost got the top of it, so I had to cut the, uh, the top section off. I know it looks a bit bad there now, but um, it's fine. It's um, calloused over. I put a bit of sulphur on it and he should be fine. He's also losing last year's leaves. I can, if I can get in between the spines, the um, vestigial leaves that it has on, uh, they just wither away. They're like, uh, they're deciduous. It doesn't need them all the time, so it has to drop them sometime. Uh, different apuntias, or they, they seem to drop them at different times of the, of the year. Uh, it's, just about its time now. This one isn't dropping at the moment probably because it was a bit more sheltered during the winter. Uh, it's friend over the other side of the, the room, a cactus house, is starting to drop its leaves and it's from the same plant. So. There we go. Uh, I've been trying a few different methods of trying to get these um, branches off without damaging them or myself. I've tried twisting with the um, tweezers, extra large tweezers to no avail. Uh, I've tried pliers on them but the simplest method seems to be just pushing it off like that. So that's it's come off very clean and it's not damaged, well it's damaged the leaves a little bit but they're going to go anyway soon. So um, what we'll do now, so I've got a tray half filled with just pure gravel, there's nothing else in it, no compost. And I'm not going to fill all of these, but uh, just uh, place that in there and top up with some gravel just to hold it firm. There we go, that's fine. And I'll take a few more. I won't fill the tray, but uh, just even it up a little bit, probably uh, four or six in this tray. And we'll leave those there to root. I'll give them a little bit of water now and again. I won't water them regularly. Uh, the good thing about gravel is the water would just go straight through, so it's not going to sit there and rot, rot the um, bottom of the cactus. And it'll be very easy to tell when they've rooted because you can actually lift the entire tray up and have a look at the roots. The roots will be very quickly come through once they uh, start. They've got uh, quite nasty spines on it, as you can see. And um, <coughs> another one of our viewers, um, Adam, was asking whether the woody remains is what they make the, the rain sticks from and he's probably quite right there. I, I know exactly what he means by the rain sticks. Um, a friend of mine had one a long time ago and I looked into it. This comes from um, the Andes, Peru and uh, the uh, tribe that makes the rain sticks also come from there so it's a pretty fair bet it's the same plant. 
Uh, it's made by bashing the spines back into the um, the dead skeleton of the, the plant and I assume sealing the ends. And when you turn the things upside down they make a lovely uh, bubbling sound like uh, rain falling. So um, if I ever get a dead bit I'm going to try and make one of those, that'd be interesting. Okay, I think that's that, that for now. I can take my glove off safely for a while. I'll finish the rest later. Thank you very much for watching everyone.